Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course aspects of biochemical engineering. Now uh, we uh, we are discussing the air sterilization process today. I am planning to discuss some problems, the numerical problems on air sterilization process, designing of air filter. Now uh, in the last lecture, you can remember I I try to discuss that uh, what are the different processes through which we can um, we can um, we can kill the we can say we can remove the microorganisms or kill the microorganisms there are three different processes we have one is called sterilization and there is a thermization and there is pasteurization what is sterilization sterilization either you kill the all microbes present in the in the particular media or air and thermization you just reduce the load of total microbial population and pasteurization is uh, mainly we target for pathogenic microorganisms. Now <coughs> the in the fermentation industry as I told you sterilization plays an important role um, because we want to grow our desired organism. As you know that atmosphere we have lot of different type of microorganisms they are present there. So if you allow those organisms to interfere in the process naturally our our purpose will not be served. So we shall have to maintain the sterile conditions and we observe that most of the uh, biochemical industry they are operated aerobic fermentation they use the aerobic fermentation process. Now in the aerobic fermentation process major drawback is the dissolved oxygen concentration because your microorganism can take the oxygen which is dissolved in the media. They cannot take the oxygen which is present in the air. So we shall have to pass the air. Now we know the air comprises of lot of bacteria, lot of different type of microorganisms. So if you if you just purge the air through the media, there is every possibility lot of contaminants may grow in the media. So we shall have to sterilize the air and also the media that is required that is also to be sterilized. And also we shall have to sterilize the vessel in which the fermentation takes place, also the pipeline and other things where the sample is to be drawn, everything is to be sterilized. So we observe two major concerns, one is a major source of contamination, one is the air, another is the media. Now and in the last uh, um, lecture I tried to discuss how the air sterilization process can be work out and I discussed the different way we can uh, sterilize the air one is heat one is uh, by using electromagnetic waves or by using uh, germicidal spray. So whenever we talk of air then <coughs> we find two type of air one is moving air and there is stagnant air. For stagnant air we usually use UV rays or we use the germicidal spray. Because suppose uh, particularly I can give the example in the cheese making industry that we, we need a big room for the cultivation of card. So naturally card is usually by formation takes place in the open vessel and the room should be uh, uh, sterilized and that we, we, we put some kind of chlorine, chlorination of this room so that you know air is free from the contaminants. But a question comes in terms of moving air how the moving air we can we can remove. So there are uh, uh, the heat and uh, uh, that you know uh, uh, filtration two kind of devices uh, can be used for the for the for removing the uh, microorganisms present in the air. Now when we use the heat naturally that you know that uh, when you increase the temperature the protein present in the inside the um, organism they will be denatured. As soon as they will be denatured, then uh, the biochemical activity of the organism will be lost, 
and your organism will be killed. So, so that is but but one problem with the heat in case of air, the air is a non-conductor of heat. So naturally, that is not good media for air sterilization. So it has been found that uh, maybe by that you know filtration is a device through which we can remove the contaminants present in the air very easily. Now, the filtration also we have found you know different types of filter. We use the fiber type of filter. We have membrane type of filter. Now, in the in case of fiber type of filter, the organism they are entrapped in between the fiber. Now, uh, the fiber, as for example, glass full fiber, if you use, then if you compress it, then when you when you compress it, we will find that uh, pore size will decrease. So, as per our requirement, then we can design the air filter. <coughs> now, I, there are uh, different principles involved for removing the particulate matter by the filtration that I discussed in the last class and we have come across one parameter that overall collection efficiency. This can be theoretically estimated as well as this can be estimated uh, on the basis of the correlation between the uh, single fiber correlation. We have on the flow characteristics of the uh, fluid that you know we can we can find out the overall efficiency of the process and that we can correlate with the single fiber efficiency from single fiber efficiency we can find out the the thickness of the air filter now now today we want to discuss some kind of problem that on this air sterilization process first let us discuss now it is required to provide 20 cubic meter per minute with air at the rate of uh, 10 cubic meter per minute for a fermentation lasting for 100 hours. The air contains approximately 200 microorganisms per milliliter. Uh, from an investigation of the air uh, material, um, the filtered material to be used, the optimum linear velocity was shown 0.15 meter per second at which the k value is 1.535 centimeter inverse. Calculate the dimensions of the filter if acceptable degree of contamination 1 in 1000. Now, here I forgot to mention one particular uh, one important thing that uh, when, you, when you design any kind of air um, uh, sterilization or medium sterilization process, we, we, we consider that what is the uh, what is the level of sterility we are going to maintain. Now, level of sterility we can maintain in different way as for example, one <coughs> we can we can have one in here one in thousand am I right? That means, out of thousand organism that one one by ten that organism should be present one in thousand. So, I can I can I, I can I, I can I can I, I can uh, I can do the sterilization on the basis of one in uh, one million, one in ten million. So more when you want more uh, uh, more uh, more uh, critical sterilization conditions, then we the sterility will be more high because one in ten million, one in the, uh, the that, that kind of if if the sterility is not that important uh, that you, you can reduce that one in one million, one in uh, uh, one lakh like this we can do that. So, here the one in one thousand is mentioned here. Now, we have in the last uh, lecture I have shown you that, uh, that uh, thickness of the filter <coughs> that can be correlated with the like this um, ln n by n 0 equal to k into x. Now, the how you calculate the air, uh, how much uh, organism present in the air, how you can calculate. And now let me show you that, that um, if you look, uh, look at the problem, uh, pro what is have we have, we have 200 microorganism per cubic meter and it is flowing um, at a flow rate of 10 cubic meter per minute. So, and, and you know this is lasting for 100 hours. So, if you if you want to find out per hour, it will be 10 into uh, 60, then the cubic meter uh, per hour. Then if you multiply this, then you will find the how, how much volume of air is there. Then 
if you know um, if you this is, this is like this uh, if i if i if i calculate 10 cubic meter am i right 10 cubic meter per minute so if you if you if you multiply it with 60 because uh, one 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 hour is equal to 60 then this uh, this we can write like this then it will be very easy the we have one by minute this is 10 cubic meter per minute am i right so how you can convert it into per hour this is uh, no, one hour equal to 60 minutes so this minutes minutes will cancel so 10 into 60 you can do that and uh, 10, 100 100 hours how much volume will be there you multiply it by uh, 100 then you will get the total volume now per cubic meter how much microorganism present 200 microorganisms so you multiply it by 200 you will get the total number of microorganism in the air so this is exactly what we have calculated you can see it then this is the uh, inlet uh, and uh, what is the microorganism we are targeting 1 in 1000 that means 10 to the power minus 3 1 in 1000 so how we can write 10 to the power minus 3 am i right so <coughs> what is the formula ln n by n0 equal to k into x am i right now in in value already uh, we, we know that 10 to the power minus 3 that we put it here this is the total number this is n0 and this is this is k value so we can easily find out the uh, what it should be the uh, filter how, how what is the length of the filter we can use this is 15.12 it is not very difficult you can easily do that now let us uh, consider the uh, second part that uh, what is the cross section area of the filter is given by the flow rate of uh, the linear velocity the cross section how we can find out pi r square so uh, so r is 0.15 meter so we can easily find out that uh, this is the per um, area Ma now now uh, that uh, where i will the solving the above parameter then we can find out r equal to that uh, then we can find out the r equal to that uh, 0.58 now so the cross section of the uh, filter is uh, coming about uh, this uh, this uh, radius is 0 0.59 meter and length is this the uh, that we can easily calculate that uh, how we can we can we can do the calculation of this uh, particular um, because i hope you understand that because how we have calculated because you know that uh, we know the flow rate flow rate we know flow rate is what flow rate is cubic meter per minute am i right now if you if you if you divide by the velocity of air velocity of air then obviously we will get the cross section area what is the velocity velocity is this meter per minute am i right so minute minute will cancel and meter one meter will cancel the square so it will be area so we can easily do that so this is how we can calculate this radius and the length of the air filter now next problem is that for efficient operation of the filter is dependent on the supply of air at optimum linear velocity if the air filter increases or decreases the value of k decreases resulting the loss of filtration efficiency consider the previous problem that so we we considered whatever data we have we have in the previous problem if the linear air velocity drop to 0 0.03 meter per second the value k declines to 0.2 centimeter inverse that uh, ca calculate the number of organism would enter into the filter in one minute at the reduced flow rate and operation conditions are same as mentioned in the previous problem now how we can solve that now and <coughs> the linear velocity is what is 0 0.03 this is 0 0.3 meter per second 
the amount of air entered in one minute how we can easily calculate it multiplied by 60 per minute then then pi r square so you know that you can find out the amount of uh, that uh, um, uh, that radius is 0.5 uh, a 9 so you can easily find out how much uh, organism is entering into the in the system then uh, then the amount of air entering uh, entering in the filter is uh, 1.59 uh, 1. we find out that 1.98 cubic meter now uh, the air contains 200 uh, cubic meter micro 200 microorganism per cubic meter the total number of microorganism entering would be how much so this we know that this volume so we can easily find out the NGD value. Now, if you know the NGD value, we know N value, and N value we can easily find out that what is the uh, how much will uh, the uh, how much organism will live in the filter. So, 90 as the microorganism was entered the fermenter one minutes as the decrease air flow rate. So, this we can do it very easily. Now, let us uh, let us try to solve some other problem that uh, determine the this is the design of the air filter design the length of the uh, glass wool 5 filter required to reduce the concentration 10 to the power 8 of its original previous value that means what i want to tell that n by n0 that is uh, 10 to the power minus 8 the, uh, the original value that you know that is is given there now, DF is the diameter of the fiber is 19 micron, the filter diameter is 1 meter, 1 meter, the alpha is the alpha is the, the, soil, the solid fraction or you know uh, filter fraction, solid fraction means I told you that uh, 1 minus alpha is equal to void fraction. void fraction in free space alpha is the how much that filter occupied in the field that you know in the uh, how filter material how much volume is occupied then d with dp is the 0.5 microns and um, uh, superficial velocity 10 centimeter per second air viscosity 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 gram per centimeter per second and uh, the particle density 1 gram per centimeter cubed and diffusivity is 2.73 into 10 to the power minus 7 centimeter square per centimeter second. So, these are the different problem is given. So, um, it is it is uh, so we, we shall have to so we can consider this uh, problem like this. Uh, this is uh, suppose this is the air filter and this is the air filter that we have. We know this is we have the air filter like this. So, we pass air air in and this is air out. So, you here we know the flow characteristics of the air. What is the diameter of the filter? What is the uh, velocity of the air? Air viscosity, all these things, particle diffusivity, everything know. So, we shall have to find out what is the length of this air filter to get this value n by n0 will be 10 to the power minus 8. Am I right? Let us see how we can solve it. Now, first we shall have to calculate the Reynolds number or how we calculate the Reynolds number. This is, uh, this is the diameter of the filter and this is the velocity that uh, so Reynolds number equal to d u rho by mu am I right. So, <coughs> that uh, u is the velocity that we can put it here and this is the rho value that is the density and this is the viscosity and this is the the uh, this is the void fraction. So, we will get the Reynolds number like this assuming the air density is 1.2 into 10 to the power 3 gram per milliliter. Now, uh, the Smith number is uh, is equal to mu by rho into d b m. Uh, d b m is the diffusivity of the air. Now, mu mu value is given here this is the mu is the viscosity of the air and rho is the density of the air and the diffusivity of the air is given here. So, we can easily calculate what is the Smith number. Then, 
then we have the correlation that uh, Peclet number equal to Smith number into Reynolds number. So, we have already found out what is the, uh, the that uh, Smith number and Reynolds number. So, our our Peclet number will come 1.5 into 10 to the power 5. Now, that you know that if you look at if you look at this figure that you know here we have the correlation in a uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, in p picklet number to the power 1 by mm, 3 into the Reynolds number 1 by 18. This is correlated with um, the overall uh, collection efficiency in R and picklet number. So, we can we can we can we can find this and from this curve we can find out this particular value. Now, if we if we find out this value then uh, then we can find out from this we can find out the eta it has eta 0 value. Let us see how how we have solved this. Now, the here we have inner, inner is of what a geometrical ratio it is the diameter of the particle by diameter of the fiber this is we have the picklet number already we have determined this is the picklet number and this is the Reynolds number we determined. So, this is coming about 2.3 and so you have from the figure you have this is n r into you can write n p to the power 1 by 3 n r e to the power 1 by 18. So, if this is correlated with eta 0 n r and n p e. So, so if you if you have you have curve like this. So, if you know this value, I can find out this corresponding value. So, n 0 n r p e n p e can be estimated from the plot and for this versus this. Okay. Now, we have we have done this and we find that this value is equal to that uh, 2 into 10. Now, from that we can find out what is the eta 0 value, eta 0 is overall collection efficiency and we know that single fiber efficiency uh, is uh, eta alpha is eta 0 1 plus for if alpha value lies in between 0 to 0 0.1. So, here alpha value is 0 0.033. So, it is lies in very much in between that. So, we can find out the single fiber efficiency. Once we find out the single fiber efficiency, now we have the correlation of uh, with the single fiber efficiency and the length of the filter because I was talking about this filter length. Am I right? This is the length of the filter filter that we have. This is this is we call it L. So L can be related with this. This is like this. So here pi we know, diameter of the fiber you know, alpha we know that uh, 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 the solid fraction and eta, eta alpha we know n 1 n 2 you know the n 1 is the final uh, cell mass concentration and n 2 is the in incoming cell mass concentration from that we find out the, um, the length of the uh, air filter is coming about 14.65 centimeter. So, so this is uh, this is we can we can easily find out that uh, we can easily design the now, for what do you call that you know that uh, uh, air filter what will be the thickness to get the desired amount of sterility of the uh, of the air. Now, another thing I want to raise here that um, suppose in the biochemical industry we have two vessel one is inoculum and this is production fermenter am I right. Now, usually the inoculum vessel suppose this is 1 cubic meter and usually this size the, this usually the 5 to 10 percent that means 0 0.5 to this if it uh, suppose I, I, I can tell you that if, if the capacity is capacity of production fermented 200 cubic meter the inoculum volume will be how much it is 10 to 20 cubic meter. Okay. Now, naturally the air requirement for the small fermenter will be will be less as compared to the bigger fermenter. Now, question comes how we will design 
our air filter because uh, we have I have already shown you that uh, mm, that for for inoculum vessel we can have this we can we can horizontal this kind of things we can have we can pass the air in and air out and we can find out the area like this now when you go for this is inoculum vessel IV now when you when you consider the production fermenter now naturally it is 10 times higher 5 to 10 times and if you increase the 5 to 10 times then vertical surface area will increase uh, very much and if you increase surface area there is a operational problem now question comes the how you can uh, reduce we can make the things very compact because this way we can make, make the things very compact how we can make the things very compact suppose inside this inside this air filter if we if we have some cubical arrangement like this we can always have a cubical arrangement like this so we can have we can increase the surface area am i right we can increase the surface area so here we can pass air we can take out the air like this so um, this is uh, so uh, uh, we can we can do, we can do in two ways uh, otherwise one is we can put it in and we can take it out like this or we can take it in and from in inside you can take it out so in that way we can increase the surface area and make the things very compact so you know this is how you can make the things very compact in case of bigger fermentation process so <coughs> So another another one issue I want to take into consideration that uh, in the industry we use the glass wool fiber. But you know that we know the glass wool fiber is very costly as compared to cotton or jute fiber. But question comes why we go for the glass wool fiber? The reason is that glass wool fiber it can be reused again and again we can sterilize again and again and cotton and jute fiber uh, we uh, it is very particularly i can tell you in case of jute fiber that if you if you regenerate the jute fiber again and again it will be becoming fragile so you cannot use that so and uh, and and another problem is that uh, when you pass the air through a filter there will be some kind of resistance that you know that on the flow of the air filter as there is a resistance there will be some kind of friction as there is a friction there is the heat regeneration take place now in case of uh, jute and cotton fiber it can catch the fire very easily but in case of uh, glass wool fiber it can the fire temperature is quite high so in that way we find the drag coefficient for a particular Reynolds number in case of uh, glass wool fiber is much less as compared to uh, uh, that jute and cotton fiber and we find that uh, that you know that uh, drag coefficient since it is more in cotton fiber so every possibility that uh, cotton and jute fiber can catch fire that is why we cannot use so in conclusion i want to tell you that uh, i try to discuss the air air sterilization process which is very important um, part of the any kind of fermentation industry and uh, what we are basically targeting that you know that uh, that uh, we we um, it is very difficult to get the hundred percent sterility of the air what we do what we what we, do, uh, we can do one in thousand one in ten thousand one in one arc one like one in one million one in uh, ten ten million that means out of one million organisms you are allowing one organism can percolate through the filter then because uh, by 100 percent that sterility were to find out that what should be the exact uh, that uh, thickness of the air filter for 100 percent sterility is very difficult to uh, achieve so in the in the air filtration we always air filtration means medium filtration we always consider that that what, what, what how much organism is allowing out of how, mu how much initial input so on the basis of that we can do the design of the air filter i discuss that uh, how you can discuss the thickness of the air filter both on the basis of uh, that uh, that uh, uh, that you know flow characteristics of the fluid also by using 
that uh, kind of uh, equation that we have that ln n by n 0 equal to k into x from that we can find out that is called log penetration theory from that we can find out the thickness of the uh, air filter. Thank you very much.